Hello everyone, welcome to Edify India. Today we will discuss the APSC exam paper held on 12th of September 2021. The first question relates to National Bamboo Mission. We have given four statements over here. Uh, out of these, the first and second statement are absolutely correct as they are given in the objectives of the uh, official document of National Bamboo Mission. But uh, about the fourth statement, some documents mention about the export promotion also. So the correct answer can be A and D, A or D. But we'll, if we'll go by the official uh, PIB document, then the correct answer should be A, 1 and 2. Next question about angel tax. Uh, the correct answer is C. It is a kind of capital gains tax, uh, uh, which is applied to the startups. Next question about Nobel laureate in economics, who is an Indian citizen. So uh, Amartya Sen is the Indian citizen. Uh, there is some confusion about Abhijit Banerjee, but he is not an Indian citizen. So the correct answer will be B. Fourth question is about uh, GST related uh, matters. Uh, scheme launched by the uh, government of India uh, to train youths on GST. The correct answer is Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana. Uh, the GST implementation uh, training was recently organized by uh, Government of India under Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana. So the correct answer is D. A fifth question. Uh, the seven member committee for revitalization of Assam economy in the aftermath of COVID-19. It was headed by Sri Subhash Chandra Das, IAS retired. So correct answer is B. Sixth question is about this uh, word CTC in, uh, with respect to Assam tea. The correct option is crush, tear and curl, option A. The seventh question is about Act East policy of uh, India. So uh, a separate department of Act East policy affairs was made in 2017. So correct answer is C. Next, eighth question is about Kiran IPR and Vigyan Jyoti. These are the schemes uh, uh, implemented by Ministry of Science and Technology. So the correct answer is option B. Next, which of the following state became the first state or UT in India to present e-budget and stream? So uh, we know that Assam did this uh, in this year. So Assam is the correct option. The maximum number of individuals that can be supported by a given environment is called. This is the very definition of the carrying capacity. So option A carrying capacity is the right answer. Question 11. Plants growing under direct sunlight are known as heliophytes. What do we call the plants growing under shades? So the plants growing under shades is known, are known as skyopites, skyophytes. So this is the correct answer. Question number 12 relates to the protocol related to living modified uh, organisms. Living modified organisms. So the correct answer is Cartagena protocol. Question number 13, which, which among the following types is a non-material pollution? The correct answer is option C, thermal pollution, which is a non-material pollution. Question number 14 about UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Assam. So we very much know that Kaziranga is a World Heritage Site which was declared as a World Heritage Site in 1985. And in only one option we have Kaziranga. So option B is the right answer. Kaziranga and Manas are the two UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Assam. Question number five, 15 is related to match the following. We know that Medha Patkar is related to Narmada Bachao Andolan. MS Swaminathan is related to rice and research, rice research and biodiversity conservation. Salim Ali is the famous bird conservationist. So he is related to ornithology. And Anil Agarwal is related to Center for Science and Environment. So our correct answer is option number A. Question number 16, all species of lemur are endemic to, the correct answer is Madagascar. Which among the following is the state tree of Assam? How long is the state tree of Assam? Among the marine ecosystems, the most species rich ecosystem in the marine ecosystems, uh, coral reefs are the most species rich. Uh, 
and in the terrestrial ecosystems uh, uh, rain forest are the most species rich biodiversity hotspots uh, world has 36 biodiversity hotspots so correct answer is option c wooden doors often swell up and get stuck during rainy season this is due to the phenomena of the, the phenomena is known as imbibition imbibition who won the nobel prize in physics uh, related to the discovery of photoelectric effect so albert einstein won the nobel prize uh, for discovery of photoelectric effect so correct answer is option number b filament used in electric bulb is made up of tungsten chief constituent of biogas biogas methane is the chief constituent of biogas which comprises about 70 percent of biogas egg laying mammal platypus is the egg laying ma mammal which of the following diseases is not caused by virus so we know that influenza is caused by virus aids is caused by virus dengue is also caused by virus so anthrax is the correct answer a washing machine works on the principle of centrifugation raindrops are spherical in shape because of the phenomena called uh, raindrops are spherical because of surface tension so correct answer is option d surface tension name the clinical procedure by which blood is transfused from recovered covid 19 patients to a covid 19 affected patient this therapy was very much in news recently uh, the name of the therapy is plasma therapy next question a man suddenly encounters a tiger uh, in the jungle uh, his blood pressure increases he gets nervous now the question asks which hormone is related to this so this is related to the adrenaline hormone we also call it the fight or flight fight or flight hormone next prime minister of india kick started the largest vaccination drive so this this vaccination drive is uh, going on and this started on 16th of january 2021 next question the biggest vac vaccine manufacturer of the world is serum institute of india and uh, india is known as the pharmacy of the world and serum institute is one of the uh, largest uh, it is the largest uh, vaccine manufacturer in the world swachh sarvekshan 2020 in the northeast region Jorhat was the cleanest city. Question number 33. Which country on 19th July 2020 launched its first mission on Mars? So it is UAE and the mission name was Hope Mission. Question number 34. Line of actual control. This was very much in news recently and this relates to India and China. This was in news related to the incident that uh, happened in Galwan Valley. Okay. The Paris Agreement of the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change is to limit global warming well below 2 degrees Celsius of the pre-industrial level. So the correct answer is option B. Against 232 electoral votes won by Donald Trump, how many electoral votes were backed by Joe Biden? Uh, in November 2020 US elections, Joe Biden won 306 electoral votes. Nobel Prize in Literature recently in 2020 was given to Louis Gluck, option number A. On 9th November 2019, the Supreme Court of India gave the historic verdict on Ram Janmabhoomi Babri Masjid case. This case was handed over or uh, passed over to Supreme Court by the Allahabad High Court. So correct answer is option number B. Three agriculture bills were signed by the president. So this is about the recent farm laws, farm laws which were very much in news and uh, the question asked which of the following is not a part of this package. So we know that the uh, trade and commerce bill is part of the package. Uh, also empowerment and protection agreement and price assurance act as we commonly know it 
as price assurance this is also part of the package essential commodities act is also part of the package farmers subsidy and insurance act is not part of the packet uh, package so this is the right answer option number d the cbse recently partnered with facebook for digital safety and augmented reality uh, related curriculum so option a facebook is the correct answer next question 47 is related to the judima festival which is related to the dimasa tribe of assam next is related to nagorno karabakh region which was recently in news due to the conflict between the countries of armenia and azerbaijan so the correct answer is option number b next is related to sitwe port sitwe port is in myanmar which is related to the kaladan multimodal uh, project Sagar Mala project is very much in India only, which is related to the peninsular uh, uh, ports. Prayagraj Haldia is related to the National Waterway One, and so uh, the correct answer is option number A. Uh, Talchar Dhamrab Inland Waterway project is also related to the uh, inland waterways only, so the correct answer is option number A. On 26 January 2020, a basketball player we we lost an uh, basketball player. His name was Kobe Bryant. Option number D. The 2022 FIFA World Cup football will be hosted by Qatar in its capital Doha. So the correct answer is option number C. Next question: Which among the following removed the pro democracy books? Uh, this was removed from the libraries of hong kong correct answer is option number b next on 25th may 2020 few officers in minneapolis uh, police uh, so this is relate related to the recent uh, incident which happened in us and which uh, which resulted in a, a movement called black lives matter black lives matter which was related to uh, racism in us so the person who died uh, was george floyd now this question asks that nep 2020 replaces which uh, earlier education policy so the earlier education policy was 1986 and uh, this was very much in news that we have we are getting a new education policy after 34 years so the correct answer is uh, c national policy on education 1986 next question relates to chief of defense staff uh, correct answer is general bipin rawat next question is related to uh, king nal narayan uh, the real name of uh, nal narayan the real name of nal narayan was malladev next question founder of ahom kingdom Chaulung Sukhapha ruled Assam during to 1228 to 1268, uh, and who succeeded him? So correct answer is option number A, Sutiyofa. Next question: uh, As a great patron of Shakta Hinduism, Ahom King, Ahom King built Umananda Temple, and uh, it asked who was the Ahom King. So the correct answer is Gadadha Singha. next relates to uh, next question relates to uh, king singh uh, shiv singh entrusted krishna ram bhattacharya uh, priest from navadweep in west bengal to manage the kamakhya temple and uh, what is his popular name so his popular name is parvatiya gosai next question chao suhung mang was the first ahom king to adopt a hindu title indicating a move towards an inclusive polity which hindu name did he take the correct answer is swarg narayan option number a next question uh, the best passing out cadet of the nda khadakwasla pune is conferred which medal uh, he is conferred with he or she is conferred with lachit borfukan gold medal who was the ruler of kashmir at the time of india's independence correct answer is hari singh the brave assamese lady warrior mula gabru died fighting against correct answer is turbak khan 
who was the first assamese to fight against the british gomdhar kumar bhogeshwar barwa was the first arjun award winner in 1966 who was the second assamese to win this coveted award the correct answer is monalisa barwa mehta bhogeshwar barwa was related to racing and Bho monalisa barwa mehta is related to table tennis next question which assamese film won the first ever national film award the president certificate of merit in uh, regional language category in 1955 the correct answer is pioli fukan next question related to dr talimeren and uh, in this question the correct answer is both b and c he was the first captain of indian football team in 1948 london olympics and he was also the flag bearer of the indian contingent uh, in 1948 london olympics next question akhima jar heral hima is a landmark in assamese novel written by kanchan barua so kanchan barua was the pen name it is asking about the real name the real name is bhuban mohan barua answer number option number b next question the tale of nomadic soul this was an english translation of the novel aghori atmar kahini option number c next question the novel abhijatri is based on the achievements of so it is based on the achievements of chandra chandra prabha saikiani next question is related to the english education act this act came in 1835 so option number a is the correct answer next question says that rabindranath tagore gave the title mahatma to uh, mahatma gandhi but who called him half naked fakir so he was called half naked fakir by winston churchill correct answer is option number b who authored the famous book indica indica was written by megasthenes correct answer is option number c aruna asif ali uh, was an important activist in the underground activities during the quit india movement so correct answer is option number b next question uh, national leader and administrator who helped in the integration of indian states correct answer is option number d sardar vallabhbhai patel the next question that we'll talk about is the largest landlocked country in the world is the correct answer is kazakhstan the next question that we'll talk about is the largest landlocked country in the world is the correct answer is kazakhstan option number d next question is about match the following which of the following pairs is correct uh, so all of the pairs given above are correct khamti arunachal pradesh au nagaland mela cheri lakshadweep so correct answer is option number d all are correct question number 72 which country is the largest archipelago country in the world Indonesia is the largest archipelago country correct answer is option number b which of the following rivers has the largest river basin in the indian subcontinent the ganga has the largest river basin so correct answer is option number c next question is the boundary demarcation between india and pakistan uh, by what by what name this uh, boundary is known Uh, so the correct answer is red cliff line option number b next question is about the island of sicilis uh, this is found in the indian ocean option number c next question is about uh, the wildlife sanctuary or the national park on the assam or natural border so uh, the correct answer is sonai rupai wildlife sanctuary next question is uh, when did life begin on earth the correct answer is option d 3.8 billion years ago next question is which water resource project covers and extends the benefits to madhya pradesh maharashtra gujarat and rajasthan the correct answer is sardar sarovar dam <coughs> this is situated in gujarat but it uh, extends its benefit to maharashtra uh, madhya pradesh maharashtra gujarat and rajasthan uh, bhakra nangal project Uh, this is in himachal pradesh hirakud dam this is in odisha 
and Tihiri Dam, this is in Uttarakhand. Which pair of extremely located Indian cities is connected with East-West Corridor? Correct answer is uh, Silchar and Porbandar. Silchar in Assam, Porbandar in Gujarat are connected uh, by East-West Corridor. As per the 2011 census, how many Gaon Panchayats are there in Assam? Correct answer is 2202, option number C. Which of the following city is known as T City of India? Correct answer is Dibrugarh. Uh, we can have some more information about this. So Darjeeling is uh, also one famous city uh, which is famous for tea. And Darjeeling tea was the uh, first GI tag of India. Darjeeling tea. Uh, Dibrugarh is in Assam and uh, Assam uh, accounts for almost 55% of tea production. And Dibrugarh is known as the tea city of India. The next question is about black revolution. So it relates to the crude oil. And it's, it particularly relates to the self-dependence and the production of the crude oil. Uh, about the milk production, the revolution related with milk production is white, white revolution. <coughs> okay, next question is uh, about uh, Lieutenant Governor Miss Karbi Gogoi. Her specialization is asked, her expertise. So uh, she has expertise in warship construction and maintenance. So option number D is the correct answer. Next question is about the first Lokpal of India. First Lokpal. Uh, PC Ghosh or Pinaki Chandra Ghosh was uh, nominated as the first Lokpal in 2019. When was the Assam detached from the Bengal presidency and was made a separate chief commissionership? The correct answer is 1874. Which of the following article empowers the governor to appoint the chairman and me uh, members of the State Public Service Commission? The related article is Article 316. Next question is, who was the first speaker of the Lok Sabha? Uh, the correct answer is G. V. Mavlankar. Next question, who was the Indian Prime Minister uh, when the 73rd Constitutional Amendment Act was passed? So this was passed in the year 1992. And the Prime Minister at that time was P. V. Narasimha Rao. Which among the following schedules relates to the uh, separation of power between the Union and States? So it relates to the uh, Schedule 7, uh, which uh, has three lists, uh, which are the State List, the Union List and the Concurrent List. <coughs> Question number 90. Uh, the concept of Integral Humanism and Antyodaya are related to uh, Deen Dayal Upadhyay. And we also have uh, a scheme called Deen Dayal Upadhyay Antyodaya Yojana. Next question is about the first amendment of the Indian constitution. So first amendment happened in the year 1951 itself. The date was 18th of June and it was related to the land reforms and ninth schedule. Uh, the Nightingale of India, Sarojini Naidu is known as the Nightingale of India. Next question about Article 368, why it cannot uh, repeal fundamental rights. So fundamental rights are integral part of the basic structure of the constitution as given in the Keshwanan Bharti case of 1973. So that is why uh, the correct answer is option number A, integral part of basic structure of the constitution. Next question is, uh, which committee uh, recommended the dual citizenship for the PIO? So it was LM Singhvi committee, option number B. Next question, equal opportunity in matters of public employment is guaranteed under, under which article? The correct answer is article 16. The next question, which of the following fundamental rights are available only to the citizens of India? So article number 15, 16, 19, 29 and 30 are given to only Indian citizens. Rest of the articles are uh, available to Indian citizens as well as to foreigners. So in our case, the correct answer is 1 and 4. Uh, 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 the fourth point relates to article 19 and the first point relates to article 16.
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वेयर हैज इट टेकन फ्रॉम वेयर हैज इट टेकन द इलेक्शन ऑफ द प्रेजिडेंट सो इलेक्शन ऑफ द प्रेजिडेंट इज टेकन फ्रॉम द आयरलैंड सो करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर ए आयरलैंड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एज पर द ट्राइपार्टाइट आसाम अकॉर्ड साइन बिटवीन द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ आसाम एंड द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड द लीडर्स ऑफ द आसू एंड ऑल आसाम गण संग्राम गण संग्राम परिषद वट इज द कट ऑफ डेट सो कट ऑफ डेट इज ट्वेंटी फोर्थ मार्च नाइनटीन सेवेंटी वन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट बोडोलैंड टेरिटोरियल काउंसिल सो द डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ कोकराझार बक्सा चिरांग एंड उदालगुड़ी आर पार्ट ऑफ द बी टी सी सो करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर बी नाउ लास्ट क्वेश्चन विच स्टेटमेंट अमंग द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट ट्रू अबाउट द जी एस टी काउंसिल दिस क्वेश्चन हैज सम एरर बिकॉज Uh, it says that it is a statutory body and it is chaired by the prime minister of india conceptually both of these are wrong uh, but still if we go by the fact that uh, uh, a constitutional body may also be called a statutory body because it is also a constitutional act after all so in that case we can take option b as the correct answer but it is still controversial so maybe it, it uh, apsc will decide uh, to give a bonus or it can go with option b okay that's all uh, for the apsc paper happened on 12th of september 2021 thank you